We have break ins here in cars. They broke into my car. They did? Well, I'm sorry. Of course. They broke into my car five times. Well, Hi, I live here. I've been living here for about five years. And then Karen walked up to me just now and she was pestering me about what I'm doing following her. What what am I doing? She came all the way to my car and now she did you call security yet? What you what what did he say? He didn't answer. I was probably the voice You want me to help you call security? Comedian Josh Black was given quite a hard time by a Karen in the garage of their apartment complex. How long y'all been living here? It doesn't matter how long. You got anything to say or no? You just I got my car broken into. I don't give a fuck. Only a month ago. I don't give a fuck. I pull in here where I pay $1700 a month. First off, sir, the description was exactly what you're wearing. And then you have a backpack. That's crazy. Yeah. So the description was me of the person that broke into your car? Yeah. They had on a pink hoodie when they were breaking in. Why? I just mentioned it. I apologize. They had on a pink hoodie, black nails, and a backpack. I mean, she did this. I'm not content creator. I'm a fucking influencer. If I wanted to, you'd be finished. Isn't that quite fitting that her description matches, well, what he's wearing? Quite convenient. Weird fuck. If you raise your voice, no, what, if I get more likes, I get more likes if a white woman walks up to me and asks me what I'm doing in my apartment. Thank you. She's not white. All right. <laughs> She's Mex. She's Mexican. All right. Good day, Karen. And whoever the fuck you are, goof. This is becoming way, and I mean way too common. Remember this one? of these two knuckleheads in the Nashville area as well, when Bitsy and Brennan racially profiled Johnny Martinez in the parking garage, pathetic, humiliating, and unacceptable. In the first video, when the unidentified woman uttered, first off, we have break-ins here in cars, Black responded and said that his own car was broken into before saying that he lived in the apartment building for five years. He said that the woman had approached him and accused him of following her. In Joshua Black's case, he would update the story with the following. Karen claimed I fit the description of the car thief, but our apartment says the thief was a white kid on a bike. So, not a black dude. With a pink hoodie that reads, Everybody versus racism with a backpack and black nails. Got it. Prior to the start of the video, Black said that the woman had knocked on his car window and began asking him if he lived in the building. He initially thought she might have been a driver for DoorDash, who needed instructions on how to get to an elevator, but he said she began to angrily ask him questions and was taking photos of his car. In her brain, she didn't need to owe me an explanation, but I had to owe her an explanation, Black said, after saying that she was agitated when he asked her if she lived in the building as well. Surprisingly, the woman spoke with Marissa Selec of WSMV. It took a while, but she finally apologized, although she appeared to paint a picture of Josh being the one who overreacted. Black almost did not post the video, he said, adding that these types of incidents are common in Tennessee and across the country. Though Black said this is a normal occurrence, the video's comment section was flooded with people who offered their support to him. It's like when you get used to living in chaos and someone takes you out of it that you'll realize it was chaotic, he said. Newsweek reported in September that a black staff member with Google was stopped by security because someone didn't believe he worked with the company. Angel Onuha, an associate product manager at the company, said on Twitter that he was escorted by two security guards to verify his ID badge, which was taken away from him. A common occurrence, indeed. 